Google Pixel 8 Pro, this is huge. Hello guys, I hope you are all doing great. We are back. Great news guys, according to Ice Universe, Google is planning to update the main cameras on this year's Pixel flagships. The Pixel 7 and Pixel 7 Pro were using the same Samsung Isis LGN1 as the Pixel 6 and Pixel 6 Pro. Despite some slight camera improvements over its predecessors and for comparison, the Isis LGN1 has 1.2 meter sized pixels, a 1 1.31 inch optical format, and native image resolution of 50 MP. For at least the Pixel 8 Pro, Google is rumored to have chosen the Isogel GN2 sensor, which is also used in the Xiaomi Mi 11 Ultra. In essence, Kuba Wojciechowski's rumors from December have been highlighted by Ice Universe and on the one hand, compared to its predecessor, which has an optical format of 1 1.12 inches, the Isis LGN2 has a larger optical format. Additionally, the Isis LGN2 has pixels that are 1.4 meters larger than the Isis LGN1's pixels. However, the addition of Dual Pixel Pro technology makes autofocus faster and more precise, especially in low light. Additionally, the Isis LGN2 supports staggered HDR, which enables you to take multiple photos simultaneously at various exposures for better HDR outcomes. The Pixel 8 will probably have the same camera sensor because up to now, Every flagship pair of Pixel smartphones has had the same primary camera sensor. Additionally, unlike earlier Pixel smartphones, the Pixel 8 and Pixel 8 Pro are said to use the Isis LGN2 to achieve super re-zoom shots in night mode. The Isis LGN2 should theoretically enable the Duo to capture films at up to 8K or 4K 120fps, though Google would need to include such capability in its Tensor G3 soap. In addition to that piece of news, after being leaked in just about every way possible, we now have what appear to be official marketing materials for the Pixel 7a with a developer unit making its way online in comprehensive photographs. As we receive confirmation of a 90Hz display, Tensor G2 chipset with Titan M2 security chip, and wireless charging, the latter of which will be a first in the Pixel lineup, it appears that the majority of the earlier leaks were accurate. The new 64MP main camera, which reportedly makes use of a Sony IMX787 sensor, is also mentioned. Additionally, we get a few clear glimpses of the phone's appearance, which is in line with the Pixel 7 series design aesthetic. Finally, talking about the release dates, the Pixel 7a is anticipated to make its debut at Google I.O., which begins on May 10th and in terms of the cost, the device is said to be available to purchase at a retail price of $499 and arrive in the colors charcoal, snow, sea, and coral. With that information said, let me end the discussion for today. Drop your thoughts in the comment section below as well. If you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe. The tech chat is over and I am out.